third round of the 2011 Reno Tahoe Open, Montreux Golf and Country Club in Reno, Nevada, and Shane Birch just off the green at 18. This a chance for Eagle, five under, a chance to get to seven under. And Birch, nice finish, climbing into the top 15. All smiles after a round of 69. Others going low in this third round. Vaughn Taylor started the day with the lead, actually open with double bogey, but fighting back, three birdies on the card, and he ended up rounding out the round 72 on the day. He holds it nine under par. Steve Elkington a chance to get to 10 under. This at the 17th, climbing the slope, and Elkington with three birdies on the closing side. And he's in position for one of his best finishes of the year. The ageless Elkington as he shares third on the leaderboard. A nice run coming in. Blake Adams, 17. And this moves him to nine under par. Adams, he had a birdie to follow at the 18th and had a total of six birdies. Holes nine through 18. So Adams to 10 under. Nick O'Hearn, our first day leader, in the fairway at 18. The closing par five. And O'Hearn looking for a big finish. This swings around off of that side hill. A great way to enter this green with the pin cut to the bottom. Front right, and O'Hearn would finish strong and stay in position for possibly his first win. Merrick looking for that maiden victory as well. That just a curling birdie at 17. Merrick would have one bogey on the card against seven birdies. Josh Teeter, and Teeter to 11 under par as he soars to second on the leaderboard, heading into the final round, but no one touching the round of Scott Piercy. A front nine, 28. Eight consecutive birdies for Piercy. He matches the best of the year on tour, and look at the way he's finishing. A four iron from 274, and it finds the green at 18, and settles whole high, six feet, 10 inches from the cup, and a chance to finish with an eagle three. And Piercy goes to 13 under, leading by two. And join us for the final round to see if Scott Piercy can win. Seven o'clock Eastern on Golf Channel.